Hello friends, uh, we are covering core Java concepts today. So we'll talk about what is Java, why do we need Java, uh, basics about Java installation, then what is JDK, JVM, Java variables, data types, a static variable type and a brief example and uh, the advanced topics will be covered in a later um, presentation. What is Java? So Java is one of the programming language which is commonly used. Java is currently owned by Oracle, earlier it was with Sun Systems. And Java works on various platforms like mobile, web, desktop and anything like you, you look around, I mean, you will find most of the applications are running on Java platform. Why Java? So Java is platform independent, it supports various platforms because of um, Java runtime environments. It is easy to learn and simple to manage. Um, it's an open source tool and that is where it has a high uh, community support. You can put your questions anywhere on the platforms like browser stack, GitHub, etc. And you will get the maximum solutions or the workarounds for the problem. Uh, Java is one of the object-oriented programming language which supports um, abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism, and data encapsulation. So, in case you need uh, details on object-oriented programming concept, do let me know. I'll share the details in a separate uh, presentation. We'll quickly touch upon Java installation. It is very straightforward. You just need to navigate to the uh, JDK uh, page, the link is mentioned here. You download and extract uh, the utility and uh, you can set up the path in the environmental variable. So once you set the path, you can check the Java installation is correct or not by using Java hyphen version command and you'll get the version details. JDK versus JVM. JDK is uh, a programming tool um, while JRE is the execution environment. So JDK includes uh, you know compiler, the Java application launcher, the applet viewer etc. While compiler converts uh, the code into the Java bytecode and then JRE loads the necessary classes and executes the main method. Uh, JRE actually contains the dependent libraries etc um, and JVM and other supporting files. JVM provides a platform independent way of executing your Java source code. Um, it is it generally contains the important uh, you know packages which includes classes related to match, swing, languages etc and uh, I mean, we, we come to know about all of them when you start working thoroughly on Java uh, programming. So JVM comes with, you know, just-in-time compiler that converts the source code into the low-level machine language, which runs actually on the platform. And that is where uh, it runs like a regular application because ultimately your Java code gets converted into the machine-level code. Java variables. So variables are containers for storing data values. Java contain following variables, string, integer, etc. Uh, these are the data types actually in Java and we can have corresponding variables for them. So you can see an example at the bottom, right? We do define the type of the variable, then variable name and then equals to and then the value corresponds to that variable. Java data types. So there are two type of uh, data types in Java: primitives and non-primitives. Primitive includes uh, byte, short, int, long, float, double, etc. While non-primitives uh, are such as uh, string, arrays, classes. And non-primitive data types are called reference type because they are they refer to objects. The major difference between them is primitives are predefined while um, non-primitives are created by the programmer themselves. Non-primitives can be used to call, uh, you know, 
methods on uh, and uh, do operations on them well you cannot do that same to primitives in order to do that uh, for primitive data types you will have to access them through their wrapper classes primitive data types have values while non primitive can be null because they ultimately refer to an object a primitive data type starts with a lower case while the non primitives will start with an upper case because they, they are the class names uh, the size of the primitive depends on the data type while the non primitives have all the same type same size because they are they belong to the same type of class so static variables so static is a keyword in java and static is used for better memory management we can have static variables classes nested loops and as well as uh, the methods so static keyword uh, belongs to the class instead uh, of the object of that class we can access the static members directly through class name uh, based on the access specifiers the static variables can be accessed by static members directly here is a small example with the main class and it has a static variable integer a equals to 0 and the public static void main method which uh, which is invoked by the application so that method is responsible responsible for printing hello guest and um, the variable a so you see on the right hand side of the screen that uh, we have we are compiling the java class using java c command and then we are executing it using java command and the output on the screen shows hello guest and then zero as the variable value Thank you for watching my video, please subscribe, like, share and comment.